That's the David Meyer medal. It still has a, a place of pride at home. I wasn't conscious of it until it was handed to me, which made it even more special. John McKenzie, Emeritus Professor, BSc Honours 1971, PhD 1974. It was a very strange university education because it was so small. I mean, it was about a, a third of Glen College and a third of the library, and that was it, a lot of mud. But it meant that your access to lecturers and the like was really very one-on-one -on -one from very early in the piece. And that certainly influenced how I taught in subsequent years and the like. Always had an open door policy because that's what I'd experienced when I'd been at university. I still have probably 10 people who I would regard as being the most important friends in my life who I went through university with. Because we went through fire together, I suppose. You know, we'd have developed our thoughts. It was a, an interesting time to be a student. The very famous uh, ecological geneticist was at La Trobe giving a lecture. And just to have the opportunity of literally having somebody who was the best in the world, it gave you a feel that you could be part of a community. It made you feel just very special. <laughs> I was working on Drosophila, which is a, a commonly used organism um, in genetics and found some really interesting things. I mean, particularly at the, the Shadow to Built Vineyard where I found a classic example of uh, microevolution. As a, a lecturer and a keen educationalist, what you've got to do is make it exciting to come to lectures. And my lectures were really more like extended tutorials where audience participation was absolutely compulsory you'll see examples of pristine practice and you'll see examples of frankly bloody awful practice. And hopefully you minimise the, the terrible end of the extreme in your own performance and try to do as well as you can in the better end. Failing to plan is planning to fail. And I think that's true. You know, with careers, lectures and the like, you really have got to have a sense of where you're trying to get to. You don't always get there, but at least you should know where you're trying to go.